Welcome to today's tutorial class. In this video, we'll be talking about the gravical method for calculating resultant force. From the previous question that we have been dealing with, so we are going to solve this question using the graphical method. As you can see, we have five forces here. We have the one of 20 newton on the horizontal. We have the one of 12 newton on the vertical. We have a slant force here, 8 newton at 60 degree. Another slant force, 10 newton at 30 degree, and another slant force 15 newton at 25 degree this diagram here the question here we want to transfer it to our graph but before we can transfer this diagram to our graph we have to convert all this force into distance into distance now for us to do that let's assume that for every 5 newton we are using 1 centimeter for every 5 newton we are using 1 centimeter so now if 5 newton is equal to 1 centimeter then our 8 newton when you convert is going to give us what 1.6 centimeter then our 10 newton will give us 2 centimeter our 12 newton will give us 2.4 centimeter our 15 newton will give us 3 centimeter and our 20 newton will give us 4 cm. So, with their angles. Now, since we already have the length here, length for all our forces here, we should now be transferring this length into our sketch. We should transfer it to our sketch that we have here. I already obtained the diagram here, but I'm going to explain how I have done this now for the first force which is the 20 is always advisable to start from the one with zero angle which is the one of 20 newton and the one of 12 newton now I'm starting from this 20 newton since it is horizontal from our diagram here you can see so we have it to be 20 newton on the horizontal axis so that's why I'm having an horizontal line here indicating 20 newton you choose a starting point then you measure four centimeters since our 20 newton is four centimeter so from the starting point to the other hand you have it to be what four centimeter with your ruler so then you label it 20 newton then at the end of this place then another force should continue from it and you must make sure that your arrows are following the same direction they are following the same direction you don't put a force that will oppose the previous one it must always follow the same direction now let's look for the one of 12 newton here you can see the one of 12 newton is going upward so how do we position it we can we can place it here since it's going to follow the same direction and we can also place it here since we're going to follow the same direction but we can't place it here we can't place it here because if we are to place it here the arrow is going to be against this so then we can place it here then we are starting from here we measure for our 12 newton which is what which is 2.4 centimeter so from here you measure 2.4 centimeter upward then we label it 12 newton then for the next one which is for our 15 newton yeah 15 newton at 25 degree so our 15 newton is what our 15 newton is 3 centimeter 3 centimeter so now this 15 newton can be placed in this position it can be placed in this position so and we can also place it in this position we can't we can't place it in this position we can't place it in this position why because it's moving in the opposite direction of this they have to follow the same route which is this manner then how do i obtain the angle here 
So I replace my protractor here, the center of my protractor, I replace it here and measure 30 degree from what? From the horizontal. The cent my protractor will be placed in this position. Then from here, I will measure 30 degree. So the 30 degree is what gave me this. Then you measure your length from this place to where your 30 degree is. So you, have, you should be able to obtain the actual length of the 15 Newton, which is the 3 centimeter. So at the end of this 15 Newton, the another force will be positioned there. So which is the 10 Newton that are positioned in this place. Now look at our 10 Newton here. You can see the direction is coming down at 30 degree. So we need a force that will be coming down. We can't place it here like this. Because it's going to be against the 15 Newton. So that is why we are placing it like this. So that after the end of the 15 Newton, another one continues here. So then 10 Newton is what? Is 2 centimeter. The length of this line is 2 centimeter. At what angle? 30 degree. You will place your... You will turn your protractor upside down here. The center of the protractor will be placed on this at this point. Then, from what? From your vertical, from vertical here, from vertical here, <coughs> you are going to measure what? You are going to measure 30 degree. You measure 30 degree from vertical here, so 30 degree in this direction. So that is how we are able to achieve the angle at which this this thing is placed. If this is horizontal line you should know that this place this angle here is 60 then the remaining here is 30 so that is how, how we obtain our 30 degree for this 10 newton so at the end of our 10 newton then we need another our final force which is the one of 8 newton 1.6 centimeter so you can see our 8 newton here is going up so to position our 8 newton you can see where our 8 newton is here in this direction we can't place it here because if we place it here it's going to be moving against this arrow then we have to look for a way to position in that we follow the same pattern so that is why we place it at this end so we place it at this end starting from here we measure our 8 newton which is what 1.6 centimeter at 60 degree so from year to year is 1.6 centimeter at an angle of what at an angle of 60 degree also the way we did this you also turn your protractor upside down then you measure what you measure 60 degree from the from the horizontal line here you measure 60 degree to this point so that is how we obtain 60 degree in this format here so after you have obtained the whole forces then the distance from the end of one of your of your diagram to the what to the end of the other diagram is what we refer to as our resultants the starting point here now and the end points when you join them together you measure it whatever value you get is going to be your resultant force which is our 3.5 when i measure it from here to this place i obtain 3.5 centimeter since i said for every 5 meter is equals to 1 centimeter then 3.5 centimeter will be what when i multiply it with 5 i obtain what 17.5 newton which is the same thing we have obtained from our normal analysis so then you can also measure the angle by placing your protractor here, then you measure the angle at which this place is positioned, the resultant is positioned. Then, if you have done that too, you are going to get 72 degree. So, our resultant force is going to be 17.5 Newton at 72 degree. So, this is a simple way of using your graphical method to determine the resultant force. Always follow the same pattern is only the resultant that will be what that will be opposed that will move opposite to the whole forces
because it means it's representing the old forces. That is why it's moving opposite to the other forces. That is the end for our today's class. We meet in the next class. Thank you.